Yeah. Thai might be in trouble. He's the battle begins. moving at 310 move speed. Gets the Gale off. And goes for the Gale, but already taking a lot of damage. There's the Blood Grenade Firestorm on top of him. He'll fall for first blood. Hakoda gets credit for that. And Boxy unable to get the trade and now just trying to run a little bit. But he does have Insania coming over from the side. Spirit Breaker can't really help you with much, considering that he didn't even skill anything. So they just left side to die. Hakoda gets the first blood, which means there's going to be some extra regeneration, bringing in Tango Sticks and two sentries as well. Well, that's like Nisha makes. Pick it up. He's not having bottle yet, so once he gets it, now on really low HP. Charge on Hakoda, and they're trying to get the Shackle into a kill, but instead Mickey goes down. He stands in the Firestorm and falls. And there's a trade for Boxy, but that's not the trade if you're Liquid that you want to get. You've got no oh, Zai. control. The problem, Zai and surrounded and will end up falling insane he's got the tombstone down maybe trying to get a trade on this clinks needs a right click to get it will do so and now shad where's the time walk he doesn't exactly have a lot of health but he does get the place fall back into the jungle farms up there's an outer ring so venomancer will get the farm nonetheless but you want to have that poison sting level two the chip damage that you constantly put on faceless void and now Tio, he's in trouble yeah, they're still going for Theo again as he just came back to the lane. He was hit with the Gale, the right clicks from Insane. Deny. I walked the bash and, get it. and the deny. Wow. And while that's going on, Boxy was just fighting Hakoda 1v1. And eventually, well, Boxy comes away with the kill. I'll start to, to that with the way that the Klinks' game is going right now. Six heroes top lane. They've got the charge, it's on a Hakoda, and now he's gonna be forced to run. Zai's here, they'll have the focus to get this kill onto the Lich. Controlling the map, controlling these movements, and as soon as Shad gets close, he gets scaled, gets hit by Poison Sting. The overtime damage makes this lane almost unbearable for him. It's an overall good time dilation game. Oh no, this, they're yeah, going for him as Shad. well. Through the clinks with the tombstone down, that's gonna get them at least one. Chat's far enough away where they can't really dive under the tower safely, but they can start... Let's see. Nothing really stopping them. Chad doesn't have much HP to work with. He needs to be very careful. Charge coming in over mid. That hits the Void Spirit. Hakoda's going to be bashed up. They had the Aether Remnant for a second to try and slow them down, but Hakoda still dies. And with their heroes over mid for Liquid, it's another kill on the board for them, and they're 6-3 to three ahead with a 1k net worth lead. Yeah, this is... It's unfortunate is Nisha mid going down to Hakoda and I, I, that's the kill you really need to get because it's Zantic. If that game was on today's patch, I think it would be like 200,000 damage. I saw Venomancer the other day dealing 14,000 uh, damage after one fight. Boxy gets the charge off. Two pronged attack. They're going to go for Zai and they're going to get at least that kill into the Venomancer now that we've got the Sinister Gaze. If the Remnant doesn't land, but Boxy's still in trouble with the Astral Step and the damage from Atzantic. They get another kill. That's two there for D1 Hustlers. All that while Nisha's trying to take a Tier 1. Slightly underleveled because their XP rune got stolen, so both are level 5 right now. Atzantic. In some trouble. Astral Step going after Nisha. Lands the Aether Remnant. That's with the Sinister Gaze. The damage on Anisha. He's getting a little bit low, but so is Atzantic. Goes to the Dissimulate to get the kill on Anisha. They'll turn around with the help of Mikkei to get the kill on Atzantic and get a trade. Dive Lama will fall in succession with him as they lose Hakoda. Mikkei's got a double kill. They find Theolagor, and this should be four with the power shot and the triple kill from Mikkei. This is the problem that I mentioned. We see this. So Lich still level five. This is one of the issues where we tried to fix. Uh-oh, the Lama. Point and Pit of Malice. Nicely done. <laughs> Trying to Fiend's Gate out of there, but the Shackle connects, and he's going to be held up, but they go to the Chrono, and that's on to four. They get the Kona Boxy, they'll still lose Dive by Lama, down goes Insania, Shad trying to fight, going after Zai with the Power Shot, doing some damage with the Time Walk to get the health back, and they'll get Zai. So three heroes fall, a good turnaround there with a good Chrono from Shad to make sh I don't know what the Courier did to deserve that, but what can you do? Shackle connects, Power Shot, short one, Hakoda. Now, trying to get some help here from Shad as well as Theocor, and Mickey's just going to drop. And that was a very ambitious Atlantic play going into those three heroes, and Atzantic's coming in with a double damage. The Astral step across the two, and they go to the Pit of Malice. They get the kill on Azai. They'll look over and Insania. They already got two kills, and they want more. 
And Senya on the run, it's Xantic. Zantic. does have Solar plus Tar Bomb. It's a lot of slow. He might get a solo yeah. kill here. He doesn't need the Astral Step coming in from Xantic, but, well, Shad will come over and bash Insania to death. Shield, Pavis, Crimson Guard is already finished. Chrono. Chrono used on Zai. And this is looking for that solo kill. And, uh, well, Theo's going to show up and help out. He's got a little bit of the Skeleton Bros, or the Skelly Bros, as you call them. Charge on Clank. That kill onto Zion. The charge. Can they catch up? They've got the kill into Insania. Xantic's got a plus one. And they get the charge. They get the kill. They at least get something out of this for Liquid. But here comes Dakota. Maybe Luffy Aura. Only Maelstrom proc steal damage, pretty much. And health going up while he's getting hit. Very fun. And Xantic jumps in with the Astral Step. Aether Remnant. Zion again. Now feared up to the Sinister Gaze. The Pit of Malice is down. The Chain Frost doesn't bounce. But it's the damage that's needed to get that kill onto Zai. Zai needed to die there. He wants to keep two deaths. One death for two minutes. They're charging. They're going. They've got a rod of Atos. They're looking over at Hakoda, but Theo Akur from behind with an Aether Remnant landing. Box is gonna die. Ambitious play from Liquid. They don't have enough. Right. Tombstone and They're five coming heroes through the gates. It's too late. Ooh, Fiend's Gate, yeah, it's a little bit too late. The charge comes in. They go to the Time Walk as well as the Chrono. It's going to be on a three or four. It's Boxy on the edge, who's also stuck. They get the Chrono and Senior. They'll take out Mickey. They look over as the Chain Force is bouncing around. The Time Walk over to the side. They'll take out Boxy. Three heroes dead. The buyback's already committed from Insania, but Nisha trying to run. He's got an Aegis, but it's no Another longer available to him. Available. They kill him Let's off. Pull him in. Oh, yeah. Aether Remnant, everybody here. It's disastrous for Team Liquid, even though they get the Aegis. Enemy Tormentor, that would be pretty big, getting Lich. Finally got a Wisdom. Potentially hit Shard. Yeah. Glatenir, Exantic. Ooh, Shackle connecting on a Shad behind him. They've got the Nether Don't Strike. They have the control, but the Dissimulate, he's able to get himself an escape with the Astral Step. They look over at Boxy, and he's on the run, but he'll survive with a Sliver of Health. And now, D1 Hustler is on the run a little bit, but is this a little bit of a bait to draw them further away from their tower? They've got the charge on a the Hakoda. They'll TP out at Xantic. The Pit of Malice is down, and the Pit of Malice doesn't land on the Charging Boxy, but they have the Sinister Gaze. Then I miss Gale on a Dive Alama, as well as that trap from this TA and the damage coming in from Liquid to get at least one out of that and also save their own Tormentor, which is a bit of a big deal. Yeah. Rest of the team is getting chased by Boxy. Gotta be too, there, Boxy. On. With the 1v1. Glitch, he's frost. fine for now. Let's see. Yeah, he's Feel fighting. His mana, Chain Frost, nothing to bounce off. <laughs> Another Frost Shield plus Pavis. Yeah, Bash and Hakoda still surviving. But finally now, Theo Accor comes in. Box is going to die for this as that fight went on forever. But now the right clicks from Nisha. Theo Accor just getting away. The trap is down. Oh, nice play Ooh. from Nisha. He tried to go. This was introduced in 733 that you can deny traps with side blades. Well, that, that seems like quite the meme format. Boxy getting taken out. Three heroes here as uh, they've got that double damage. Xantic holding on to double damage and Rage and Rune. Oh my god, down to half HP already. They're coming around the other way. Insania dies. They drop down a Fiend's Gate. They're looking over at Zai. The Firestorm on him. He's trying to run as the bashes are in for Shad and they'll get another kill. That's now a godlike spree for this Faceless Void. He's 9 0 and 7. But you could see, like, there's just a, a lack of survivability. Sometimes it feels like a lack of damage and a lack of life for these heroes. As Mickey is going to drop to Theo Lacour, who's on a mega kill streak. He is now 8, 7, and 12. Like, that early part of this game really sucked for him as he was constantly getting charged. Chrono now on a Zai. They don't care who they catch, and it is all taken out. They've got a trap that slows down Dive Lama, and now they're going to go to the Fiend's Gate for the charge across all four. Nether Strike. Pit of Malice is down at Zantic going in. They've got themselves the taunt. It's going to be on to Nisha. Nisha's in trouble with the Sinister Gaze on him. They'll get the kill on Nisha and Insania. Mickey, Boxy, not doing enough damage here. The charge comes in once again, but there's nothing to follow this up. Mickey doing nothing except dying. Time by Lama with the double kill, the Venomous Gale, as well as the ult from Zai, but it doesn't really deter them much from staying in the base. They're not going to dive the fountain, but they'll start to take the tier fours. Oh, yeah. They're going to call, call GG. They got no he business left in this game. Wow.